what's on my desk. Now, the idea I had was I just re record. I hit record. I hit record. And then I go up to my desk and I show you what's on it. And I don't tidy up or prep. But my desk is always quite tidy. So I was kind of like hoping to put it off until one day my desk is not so tidy because I thought it would be more interesting. But apparently, I'm awfully tidy with my desk. Not the rest of my house, just my desk. So, this is my desk. And uh, this isn't really a Linux video, but I just thought it would be interesting. People seem to ask a lot about me and like what I do and stuff. So, I thought you might like to see myself. Let's have a look at my desk, shall we? So, we're over. The light's going to go up and down because it's a mobile phone. I'm sorry for shitty mobile phone video. We've got cutters. We've got cutters because I just cut the uh, zip ties on here because, and I think that's the thing that dropped, because uh, I just took this off because I hate pop filters. I genuinely, I loathe them. They're, they're always in the way, visually. And they do a great job, but they're visually in the way. So I just cut them off to take it off because I fitted, and I don't know if you can see it, like a pop screen. Um, which is only held on with like basically hair ties, but it should give all the benefits of an actual sort of big pop filter, but not get in my way and annoy me. So there's that. That microphone, by the way, is a uh, a blue Yeti. There's Kirk, and there's um, Tux. Yay! And anyway, back to the desk. Well, we've got cutters, as we talked about. These cutters are from Wilkinson's. There is three pound. I've had them a long time. They're very sharp. Good at cutting. It's on the desk. Got a Morty voucher that my daughter gave me a while back. Just it's kind of been there since. It's one of those things that ends up on your desk and it's been there more from a day. And now it lives there permanently. There's my, uh, the high beams. But all my glasses, I've got three pairs of glasses, four pairs of glasses. And they're all the same prescription. Um, but I, I like smaller lenses because I think they they make my face look better, if you can. But uh, I prefer these when I'm reading or reading websites or any form of reading. So I tend to wear these at a desk when I'm not streaming because I find them, the larger lens means I can like look around and stuff and um, visually they're, be they're better from inside my head looking out, they're better. From the outside of my head looking in, I prefer the other the other ones. And there's a glasses cloth, obviously, because when you change glasses, they get dirty and you clean them. Okay, great. Um, this is DS. It lives here or here, pretty much. Um, couldn't get the black charging stand um, in the small size, which annoyed me. But it's like one of them that once it's on your desk, you go, ah, it's been there more than a day, it's, it's fine now. And uh, there's a uh, Zelda shield. Uh, I don't know if that'll focus. There's a Zelda shield um, stylus, which I use, because mine got big hands, little stylus comes with this shit here. I've got one here, and uh, I've, got, I've got about four different styluses. I just keep sort of dotted all the places I sit, um, which, is, which is great. My drinks mat from... Uh, from Valhalla, my screens have gone to sleep, lost the light. Valhalla, which is the Cyberpunk bartender simulator. Love the fact that they gave actual coasters. I've got two of these, the one I used, um, and it's a bit manky now, but uh, this one I've kept pristine because I just thought it was the best um, sort of promotional freebie I ever got from a game. And I thought, that's awesome, they gave me that EGX last year, way before now. This is a uh, spinning top. I'm told it's from the movie Inception. Now, I've never seen the movie Inception. But I like this because it spins for ages because it's like laser cut. It says Inception on the bottom. Um, again, it was an eBay purchase and I looked at it and I thought, that looks cool. And I bought it and um, I like it. It's cool. Sometimes I find myself playing with it when I get bored um, or waiting for videos to render. So it just sort of lives on my desk. And there's also a black cat there. It's a desk cat. I bought a pack of these black cats that was vacuum sealed from Wilkinson's again because I happen to be, I like, apparently I buy Wilkinson's a lot. No, I had this idea to do something weird with cats and I never did. Because I realised later it was a stupid idea. But the black one was kind of cool. So he stayed on my desk. I like him. There is a keypad. A non-keypad. I yeah, It's funny. I have a TKL keyboard. But I also have a numpad. Um, I use the numpad for switching scenes. Um, when I'm using OBS. They're mapped to OBS scenes. So like one is my opening scene. Two is my main scene for streaming. And three is my end card. And star is BRB. And then for a full face I hit seven. So... It was weird that I bought a TKL, then ended up having a keypad, but it works for me, and it stays out of the way. It's out of the way, so when I'm not using I just pull it. I literally, it's got a long wire, so I just pull it out when I'm using it and put it back when I'm not. But yeah, mostly, it just sort of sits there, and I just reach over to it when I need it. There's a card reader, and there's an adapter to turn and a micro SD into a regular SD, so it fits in the reader. Um, don't even know where I got that from. I don't really use it that often, but I got sick of not being able to find a card reader when I needed one, so I just glued it, I just sort of like, like glued it to my desk. So I wouldn't lose it. 
That's that corner, pretty much sorted. Not very, well, none of it's very exciting. It's a fucking desk log. What do you expect? It's a desk log. <laughs> you know, uh, there's my mouse. It's a Rocat TKL, which I spoke about before in a video that had a, a messed up sound at the end for reasons which I never could work out. But uh, that's a great mouse. Um, I enjoy this mouse a lot. Um, I didn't think I would because I didn't have particularly high expectations of Rocat when I bought it, but everyone said it was great, and they're right. Great mouse, really nice mouse. Um, I don't know if you can see on the camera. Oh, it's probably too dark. But there's like a pattern on the back, which is the only thing I don't like. I wish it was just plain. I don't know why companies have to brand everything. It's annoying. Um, this mouse mat is a Razer Spex. It's a desk skin. It's like a piece. It's like flimsy plastic that's th it's about as thickness of a piece of paper. I've had two of these. I had one. I really liked it. But then I thought, hey, I'm going to change mouse mat. And I bought a uh, glass mouse mat, which is like stained glass and it's bright blue by Steel Series. That was the best tracking service I ever had. Uh, but it's thick, right? It's like quite thick. It's like probably about probably about like oh, like six millimeters thick. That bloody thing was. And uh, what happened was it left like it used to leave a line in my arm, like like a line across my tattoo actually when I used my when I used it for a few hours. And I was like, that's shit. <laughs> like that's annoying. It kind of hurts. And I thought long term that's going to start causing some problems. So I changed it and I tried a few mouse mats, tried a few Steel Series mats because I like the Steel Series mat I had. And I ended up just buying another Razor Specs because this tracks. Other than the rays, other than the uh, steel series glass mat I've got, steel ice, I think the mat's called. Um, these razor specs are the best tracking I've ever had. I don't like the fact that it's stuck down. I like, I would like to be able to move it around, but so recommend them highly. It's the only thing I've ever purchased from Razor that um, that I actually like. <laughs> That's it. everything else I've ever had from Razor. I'm like, this is shit. Um, personal opinion, personal preference. I know a lot of people like Razor. Oh no, this is the remote control behind my screens. Um, literally, like, behind my screen. You can't see because I have to stand up and lean over. Um, there is a... Um, there is a a sound bar from a TV. I actually purchased a TV sound bar for use with my computer. And I know that's sacrilege. I'm supposed to have monitors and an amp and all this stuff. But I don't have speakers on that much. And when I do, I've probably got Spotify open or Netflix open. So a sound bar for a TV actually suited my needs better. And it has minimum amount of wiring. I just plonked it across... I just literally, I, I rested it on the data rail that was all the way in this room, and then I just like, and then it happened to fall in line with the, like the top of the of like this pole that holds my monitors. I just sort of rested it across there, and I just blue tacked it to the wall, and it's been there for like I don't know eight months or something crazy. You know, it's great, it works fine, really happy with it. But I know a lot of people require better sound than me, so that's that. So that's that corner completely done. We've nailed it. Let's move on. Um, this is the oddity on my desk, and I know these are my wires drive people insane, but as long as everything's got a purpose, it doesn't bother me. I know a lot of people don't feel like that, but for me, if wires, if random wires have got a purpose, I'm fine. It's function first. And this is this leads to my computer, and this leads to the soundbar. And I just unplug it in the middle. Like, it literally, it's just an ex extension cable. Uh, and I just unplug it and plug my headphones in, rather than plugging them in, like, on the computer down there. I just unplug the soundbar and plug the headphones in. It's not an elegant solution. But it works bloody well, and it means I don't have to remember to turn my speakers off and stuff. I just unplug them. I'm not going to accidentally have to. I'm not going to have to switch sound sources and mess about. One sound source, less hassle. It's great. My keyboard is a Ducky Shine TKL. It's a Ducky Shine 2. Um, it's not RGB. It's just blue lights. These are blue, but the camera picks them up a bit lighter. Um, or That's about right. Yeah, that's about what they are. About blue. M low brightness. I don't have it turned up particularly high. Um, I've got a Yola Lola Low guy. There and a uh, Alhambra is it Alhambra? Lambrada? No, 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 Alhambra. Half Life logo. They're all the custom keys I've got. I've gone through three sets of WSAD. Um, this is my third set. All my other keys fine. WSAD, I'm just plowing through them. So, uh, yeah. Ducky Shine. Ducky make fantastic keyboards, but their caps aren't the best caps, unfortunately, so I have to invest in that. And I know a lot of people tell me that people who stream or make YouTube videos should use browns, but I say to those people, shut up, blue feel great, which seems fair. My phone overheated, I say overheated, it said I got hot and I stopped recording because I was using excess of battery, which kind of pisses me off because I was in my flow. So about half an hour, 45 minutes has passed since we first started this. Computers have got different stuff on the screen now, and I changed the USB cable. That was black, and now it's grey, because I wanted to charge my phone, and the cable was broken. I knew about this ages ago, but I didn't sort it. Anyway, back to the video. <laughs> Nothing, a lot, not a lot has changed, as I said. Um, here's my Steam Controller. That's the next thing I was going to talk about on the list. Steam Controller, always an arm's reach away. Would have liked Steam Controller, right? Personally, 
would have would have been happy to put a third battery in it for them to light up the buttons and the edges of the pads, make it a little bit more premium looking. That would have been brilliant. That would have been great. But yeah, people say that Steam Controller is not great for certain games or it's only good for certain things if it's supported. I use this bloody thing for everything apart from platformers that require a good D-pad. And when that happens, I use my 8-bit do controller, which I've talked about in videos before. Great little controller. Fucking never needs to see him never seems to need charging. It just like fits perfectly under there, like it's designed to go there. My Kindle is rarely more than an arm's reach away from me. Um I enjoy my Kindle. This is a voyage. Um I love this Kindle. Oh man, I love this. If, if it, other than my computer, if there's one thing I own that was like this one piece of technology that's transcendent and changed the way I live my life. This bloody thing is fantastic. Hate the wallpapers. I know I could jailbreak it or pack it, whatever they call it, to get better wallpapers on it, but yeah, I enjoy my Kindle. Wish it had better wallpapers. Not hacking it, not doing anything to, to mess with it. It's beautiful. It's perfect how it is. Love my Kindle. Uh, also, I use, uh, I don't really use any, I know people are going to say, but you're always afraid of big companies. You try to exit big companies. I am, and most of the books I get, 99% of the books on here, I buy DRM free and move over manually with Calibre. Calibre, how do you say that? Um, yeah, the Kindle is such a phenomenal piece of kit. Even if you get one that's like, that never sign into to Amazon with it and just manually put your books over, these things are fantastic reading experiences. Love them, love them, love them, love them. Um, and uh, yeah, this is, yay, the light and stuff. Yeah, great. Love it. There you go, different background. Multiple, if you're a multiple book guy, you never know what you're going to read. Instead of carrying like a couple of books with you or deciding on one, this is great. My entire library is on here. If I lost it, I'd be heartbroken. Would totally buy another one in a heartbeat. This little piece of metal here is a phone holder. Well, I'll say phone holder. You can put Kindle if you really want to. Um, it's just a fold of metal, basically, with some rubber bits in. You put your charging cable on it, and you can just, well, let's pretend this is a phone. You just, like, put your phone there. There you go. Awesome. Sits in your desk. Over here, this is my cup. It's got some tea in it. Mmm. Had this cup for the longest time. Had two of them. One broke in the dishwasher. Weird that. I uh, love this cook, it's so big, and it's, uh, it, it's, got, it's, got, it's got Spock and, and Kirk on it, and, and I love this cup. Huge, it's like one and a half cups of normal people tea, which is why I use it, and uh, the, uh, the handle's the same shape as Spock's ear, which I've always loved. It's a coaster, it's old, had it years, don't even remember where I got it. Um, it's got a circuit board type thing on, which is pretty nice. Nice circuit board type design, it's pretty cool. Um, it's just, it's, it's been there forever. Don't really give it much. Thought. Don't really give it much thought. That's the end of the tour of my side of the desk. Um, but if we wheel across here, we'll see that in between the two areas, we'll talk about the other area in a second. I've got a um, a digital picture frame. It's just this is the remote for that. Again, doesn't really need it, but I turn it off of an evening because why would you leave it on when you're not even here? TV remote, the TV's way up there. Look, there you go. There's a, not that you can see it. It gathers a lot of dust. It's rarely actually on. A tiny USB cable. I. Genuinely don't know why this is on the desk. There's a Raspberry Pi there in a box. There's a Raspberry Pi 3 in here. Um, and 10 pence in 5 pences. And then over here is uh, is where the MOOCs uh, work. This is where my daughter's station usually is. This is a Windows PC. Cards on the table, guys. Not a fan, I know. Uh, actually, this isn't a Windows PC. That's a whole separate PC. But these two monitors are connected to um, to the, screen, the computer down there, which is a Windows PC. Um... It's got a DAO keyboard, which if you can ever run a membrane keyboard, a DAO keyboard is brilliant. Uh, there's some sweet wrappers there and some uh, Robina wrappers. Mouse is a... Uh, ugh, it's bright. It's a Gigabyte M7. Um, it's actually a really nice mouse. Uh, yeah, it, it works really well. It has some issues tracking on a, a mouse mat. It really likes the wood, though, like straightforward, the wood surface. It's great. It's really fine on that. Um, but yeah, it doesn't really like tracking my mouse much, which is a shame, but it was really cheap, and it works really well. She's never complained about it, so I've not changed it. This cool Ikea lamp I bought, which just sits in the corner, throwing out some glow. Picture of Einstein. Uh, Stallman's, Stallman's face on the computer. This is the uh, the infamous VPN machine. This whole machine here is too big. I need to change it for a small form factor case, because there's only a micro ATX motherboard in there, but this is the only case I had, so I threw it in there. Dial keyboard, honestly. You're not going to use a mechanical keyboard. You can use a membrane keyboard. Then DAO keyboards, the ones that are like have the minimum plastic and sort of have the edging on them and stuff. I can't really see. Bad lighting. They're fantastic. They're, they're the best membrane keyboards out there, and she's happy enough with it, so we kept it. I've got about three of them, actually, knocking around. Uh, and there's a Samsung C1U microphone there, which is my old mic. She uses that. 
And for a bonus, guys, there's the Wall of Awesome. Random awesome stuff which I liked. <laughs>